Hi right, hey everybody, did you run here from the Buzz Cowboy and today I'm bringing you another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Um, in this episode we're going to be going to the sealed grounds if you guys remember. Um, so we should get hit hard. And yes, yeah, so that's where we're going to be going if you don't remember right, that was or that like pendulum haired lady. You got, ooh, hey, the window. Let's go this. I wonder what this is. I wonder if that even does anything. Huh. Well, what the heck. Let's just keep pulling it. I wonder if you get like some sort of prize. Do I get any prize for doing it? Or is it kind of just useless? Is there any reason? To do it? No, well, okay, whatever. Screw that, let's just go, come on. Let's go, Levi. Ah, uh, ooh. Yeah, alright, let's go. Oh, hey, who's this? Hi, Link. Uh, oh, yeah. Hand over by the graveyard. Okay, well, that's kind of random. We'll, we'll just have to remember the graveyard, because we're not going to be doing that for now. But, let's just go ahead and... Dolphin die! And we're gonna be going to the forest to go to that sealed grounds area. So yeah. Oh, uh, there it is. Yeah, that's pretty close actually. It's probably the closest one of all of them. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if this is the closest one. Yeah. Alright, well let's go. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is really tired. Alright, well, we're gonna wanna go to the sealed ground, so let's select the sealed ground. Oh, wait. Oh, I guess we don't even have to select. Man, help! What the fudge? Ugh, rough landing. I think I might have broke something. Hey Link, seriously, don't anyone ever teach you how to land without a crash? Whoa. Birds? Tiny birds? What are they? And what is that thing? But, how, why, what, where am I? What's going on here? Ever since Zelda vanished, she's been zipping in and out of town all in a hurry. So I figured I'd tell you, you might lead me to Zelda. This is so wild. Seriously, what is that thing over there? And what's with all these trees? There's so many. Just give it to me straight. I can take it. Where are we? Is Zelda here. What's the deal with this place? There's supposed to be nothing below the clouds. What's all this? Okay. Ugh. Whoa. You're kind of imploding my mind right now. But I think I get what you're saying. I've got this right. Zelda's down here somewhere and she's okay. She's okay. Oh wow, that's great. Duh. Hearing that is such a huge weight off my mind. You know, Link, it's sort of alright down here. This place needs a name. Yeah, a name fitting for this rugged adventurous wilderness. No, and we'll call it Goose Land. Oh. It's not Goose Land. So let me see if I've got this right. The old lady living in the temple down the road knows where Zelda is. I see, right, Link. Thanks for getting me here. You did a good job. You can head home. Big Goose will handle the search for Zelda for camp. Yep, I'll track her down, save her, and then lift her back to Skylar. 
When we get back, I'll ask her if she wants to take, wants to make our whole going out of this thing official. And then the two of us will get to spend some quality time together. Okay, that's nice. Hmm. Anyway, the point is your work here is done. I got it covered from here. Now it's off to find that old lady you were talking about. Wow. Catch you later, Link. What a jerk. Good job. Well, whatever. Um, yeah. Let's see, I can't even remember where we're at. Uh, she's over there. Alright, yep, that's right. Um, should we go that way? Yeah, let's go that way. Um, yep, that's this way, right? Yep. This way? Nope, not this way. This way. Sorry, guys. Just wanted to make sure that I was going the right way. She yeah, almost failed. Let's go through here. I want to make the big grand entrance. Alright, um, yep, let's just go over here. Oh, yep, she gets a big these guys. Oh my gosh, I just got hit by like the first enemy pretty much in the game. That's kind of embarrassing, not gonna lie. Awesome, get some hearts. Oh my gosh, it's a blue bird. Holy cow. No, dang it. Oh well. Um, let's use the guest bellows and let's go inside. And here we are in the friends. Why oh, you gotta be kidding me? You're messing with me. Say it again. I dare you. I only speak the truth. You are not the one who will save your spirit. Made in your Zelda can only be saved by another. It has been his fate to do this thing, and he is going to save us, as it was decided long before you were brought in your crying into this world. Shred it, Granny. You obviously don't know me well, because if you did, you know that if anyone's going to save Zelda, it's Bruce. But how could it not be me? Plus, if it ain't me, why would I even be here? Pfft, I'm not the. I'm. If I'm not up to the job of being a hero, just who is this? Huh? Oh, now I get you. Link, Granny here has been trying to tell me you're going to be the big hero who rescues Zelda. What? What a joke. This, look, all I've heard so far is a bunch of blabbering about destiny, but that's a load of garbage. I know you and you're no hero, Shrimp. Wow. Greetings, Link. You were able to catch up with Zelda? Ah, I see. So the Guardian is there as well, was she? The one you saw by Zelda's side is known as Impa. She is being sent forth by the goddess to aid Zelda in her quest. The two have traveled somewhere in order to accomplish this great task Destiny has set before them. However, now that Impa has destroyed the gate that they used, there is only one way left to find one. You must make use of the harp given to you by Zelda. Tell me, Link, have you attempted to play the harp that you received? My sense is that you have not yet familiarized yourself with it. Very well, I shall teach you how to play it. Listen well and do as I say. First press up on your heart, then press A to prepare to strum it. Okay, take out your heart, point your arm up forward, and press A to strum. Hold A while broadly swinging the knee on the raft. Wait, what did it say? Slow your strums. Slow your strums so that they match the swing of the braid. Good, you learn fast. Now for your next lesson. Focus on playing time with the pulsing of the circle of light. When your timing is right, I shall join my voice to your heart. Listen well, for the song I sing will be of great help to you in your journey. Sorry guys, I'm trying to focus. Here we go.
You learned the Ballad of the Goddess. It's a mysterious melody that has been passed down from ancient times. The harp you hold is known as the goddess harp. It is a divine instrument of the goddess who once watched over this land. The melodies it brings to life have the power to produce a variety of strange, otherworldly effects. The great slab standing before you is known as the gate of time. It is the last of its kind in existence, the only portal binding our world to the one where Zelda now resides. If you manage to open the gate and pass through it, you will likely end up in the same place as Zelda. But you will need to endure many hardships and put yourself in great danger to awaken this gate from its dormant state. Though your journey will put you in harm's way, Link, you must endure. It is the fate of the chosen hero of the god. Uh... <laughs> this shaking, I fear the seal has been broken. I expected that it would react to summoning the gate, but I never imagined the seal would break so quickly. Link, there will be time to explain later. Right now, you must try to move on to the pit outside. Okay. Alright, well, let's go outside. Let's see what's up there. What could it be? Whoa, what's with all the shaking? The whole ground is heavy and heaving. I thought it was supposed to be solid down here. Go quickly, Link. Check on the ceiling spike at the center of the pit. There is nothing natural about these tremors. The monster could free itself any moment. Approach the pit with caution. Well, let's just jump down. Alright. Take a shortcut. And finally... There we go. What the heck is that? Holy crap. Okay. The imprisoned. I knew it. The seal has given way. I'll explain later, but now is the time for action. We must keep that beast from escaping that way. You must not reach the temple. Alright, well, let's attack its feet. Alright. Uh, cool. Well, we're attacking its foot. Don't step on me. I wouldn't be surprised if that's like a game over. Alright, step on the feet. Alright, uh, there's a toe on the back. Yeah, alright, so you have to hit these toes, it looks like. Pretty much just to kill it. Alright. Oh, wow. Okay, that only takes a hard damage. Okay, well, whatever. There we go. Well, it just fell over. Nice. Now we gotta hit that thing, I'm guessing, the seal on it. Wouldn't be surprised anyway. Yeah. Oh, I bet I gotta do a skyward strike. Oh, I bet we gotta thrust at it? Oh, you gotta hit upward? Yeah, you gotta hit it upward. And now it falls over that way. Okay, well, we're kind of screwed. Alright, um, I'm guessing what we gotta do is hit that. And make sure we make our way up to the top. Or, make sure it doesn't make its way up to the top. Okay, the thing popped out again. That's kind of, oh gosh, and now it's got its feet back. 
Uh, whoops, put that stuff off a little bit late. Alright, um, let's go in here. I wish I would have done. Yeah. Alright, well, let's just kick his butt right now. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Okay, oh, the electricity shock or whatever that he has um, actually will hurt you. Like, when he steps, that shock, there's a shock, yeah. Okay, well, let's wait for, I think the best way to do it is like when the right foot moves, you uh, hit the left foot, and when the left foot picks up, yeah, you know what I mean. Alright, so we gotta make sure we strike upward with, on the, um, thing, because if you, can, you if you don't hit it right, I guess, so I should say it, um, it won't work. Yeah, there we go. So you can only hit it three times at a time, it looks like. Oh, great, now it's gonna go to the floor again. We just gotta make sure it doesn't get to the castle. Oh, man. Alright, let's just do this. Make sure that it doesn't get up there. Oh, great. It grew back already. Okay, so now that it's part way up. Um, that's where it is, okay. Let's run this way. And hit it from here. Alright, there, yeah. Because yeah. it is like crazy, obviously. Dang it! Oh well. Okay, well, I'm so glad I have this geyser. I, I would be screwed if I didn't have this geyser thing. Yeah. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna try and make sure that I can hit these back toes so I only have to worry about the front toes. Because that's like his weakness, I guess. This is toes. Or something. I don't even get how it all works. Oh my gosh, don't step on me. Yeah, he is good at eating me. Yeah, he's really good at eating people. And stepping on them. Yeah, he excels in that. Okay, well really, no hearts. Okay, don't kill me, please. Thank you. Alright, I wonder how many slashes it's going to take. Thank you for the heart. Finally. Alright, let's kill this. And finally this. Yep, there we go. This is pretty intense. Alright, um... Oh, that would suck if you go off the ledge. Alright, hit it up. Link, up! Yeah. Yep, you gotta, like, jab it back into the school. That's three times. You gotta keep going. I think he's done. Yeah, he looks like he's dead. Yep. Now, Link, strike the ceiling with a scoured strike and restore the seal quickly. Alright. Alright, let's go. There we go. Alright, uh, there we go. Triangle. Nice. Nice going, Link. Right? 
Though the imprisoned has only just begun to awaken and break its bonds, I'm impressed you were able to restore the ceiling. Seal, keeping it captive. Unfortunately, I've only succeeded in buying us a little more time in which to act. The behemoth you beat back into the confinement is a horror of unspeakable power. Judging by what I just saw, I would not be surprised if the seal gave way again soon. So, you are left with precious little time to complete the task which you have been entrusted. Return to the sealed temple, Link. There is much to discuss. As you can see, the gate is nothing more than a slab of cold stone for now. It is sleeping. Rousing it from its slumber would require great power. Yes, I believe a shot of holy light from the starward strike might just do it. Ah, sorry to disappoint you, Void, but for now your sword lacks the power necessary to awaken the gate. First, you and your sword must grow together. Barren Woods, Elden Volcano, and Laranu Desert. A sacred flame is hidden somewhere on each of these lands. Seek them out and purify their sword and their heat. Only after your blade has been tempted by these three fires, it will be fully imbued with the great power for which you search. Clues to finding the sacred flames have been woven into the lyrics of the song Precious to Your People, Ballad of the Goddess. These clues are your best hope of finding your way to the flames. Turn to Skyloft. Somewhere on the island is someone whose knowledge of this old song will point you in the right direction. I hate even saying this, but I guess that you got it all figured out, Granny. Me? Well, there's nothing I can do to help Zelda. I'm useless. Ah, you sell yourself short, my friend. You'll see that in time. You have your own role to play in all this. Link, go now. Trust in fate to guide your feet. Your mission deeply depends on it. And as does Zelda's fate. Okay, so let's talk to Fee. The Ballad of the Goddess, based on my projections, this is likely the song Zelda sang on the day of the wind ceremony. I calculate at 85% probability that someone associated with the Academy will be able to provide additional information about this song. Okay. It's way more than 85%. It's 100%. Well, let's leave this place. Bye. Well, then, that was pretty intense, if you ask me. Okay, I'm not over it. That was so intense, you guys. Ah, come on. I couldn't do a thing. I'm totally useless. Alright, well, um, yeah, let's go ahead and turn to Skyloft, obviously. Um, not sure how we're supposed to do that. But first of all, I think we should probably talk to um, him because he's pretty upset. Sniff, I'm just a dead weight. What kind of use is that to anyone? Okay, he doesn't want to talk. Whatever. You can be, I guess. Um, uh, 
let's see. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, I guess I can go around this way. Okay, well, that's gonna take a while. But yeah, I guess I can talk to you guys. Um, what's up, everybody? Today is January 2nd, 2011. Um, how's everybody doing? Um, school starts tomorrow for me, back from winter break, but, um, obviously from pretty much every single one of you guys watching this, it's gonna be February, probably, maybe even March, this is like episode 40-something, so, yeah, might be January, I don't know. So, yeah, uh, we're just going this way pretty much, don't know why, don't ask why, crap, is this a, are you serious? Can I not get past this? Oh my gosh, are you serious? How am I supposed to get out of here? Is there, is it, there's... Oh, here, yeah, wait, here's a... There's a little... Oops, yeah. Let's see how There we go. What? Ouch. That looks like it hurt. Oh yeah, here, here's the super... Um... So far. Yep, there we go. Heart, heart, heart. Um, let's go back in the temple. Because I don't know how we're supposed to get out of here right now. I think we have to go the other way to get to even one of those safe places. Let's go ahead and do that way. That was pretty intense, you guys. So, yeah. Let's go outside through here. Oh, man, I'm tired. Okay, well, let's go through here. And... Oh, hey, look. Let's go talk to that Goron. Great, Goron. I found some. Look, those butterflies that respond to beautiful tones are swarming all over this place. This has got to be the right spot. Um. Oh, this could not be... This could be a problem. I cannot carry a team. I couldn't create a beautiful tone if wild animals threatened to roll me down a hill. What can we do? Oh, well, let's play our battle part. Alright. There we go. And whoa, an eyeball appears. Boing. That is it. One of the talking statues. The ancient text spoke of. There is just no mistaking it. Oh, hey. Ornamental skull. Got an ornamental skull. Cool beans. Yeah, I know. Oh, wait, we didn't have any. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, let's talk to him. Is it just like the old text skull? Uh, I appeared with a boyine. It's a major leap forward. Okay. Next up are goddess walls. Alright, um. Butterflies tend to gather in gossip stones. We find spots spawning with butterflies. Play to a great beauty. Okay. So that's really all we can do for now. Okay, um, let's go ahead and go back into the sky. Alright, uh, to the sky. Yep. And you know what, guys? It's been a long episode, but it was really pretty epic. So, you know what, guys? This is going to have to be the end of this episode. I'll see you next time. Um, once we land, I will see you next time. Uh, so yeah. Thanks everyone for watching this. Um, in the next episode, you'll just see me up by Skyloft. So yeah, I'm not really going to do anything special. Uh, yeah, so see you later. Bye. Guys, bye.